Oh, there we go. Yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about. What's going on you guys? It's your boy Tattooed Angle here and I'm going to be back out on the water once again. I came to the same water as I did in the last video to try to redeem myself because if you even watched the last video, it was rough. But today's a different day. The temperatures have dropped. The wind has picked up a little bit. So hopefully it has struck up some type of bite with the large mouth. I'm going to be using a couple of summer methods if you've never used them. I'm gonna show you how to use them. If you have, then you know what you're doing. Let me use these uh, couple of methods to see if I can't get a large mouth. But if you like what you see, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Boom, and then also don't forget to hit that notification bell. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed already, and then also let me know what you think about this video. All right, so we're gonna get out here on the water. I'll see you guys out here in a minute. All right, so I'm out here on the water. I see a little bit of bust, a little bit of wind on the water. I'm going to go ahead and start off with today's first technique to get a bite. It is a weightless fluke. This happens to be a green pumpkin uh, zoom fluke. And I have it Texas rig with a 4 aught extra wide gap hook. And yeah, if you don't know anything about this, this is a soft plastic jerk bait, pretty much. So... What we're gonna do is that we're gonna cast and then we're gonna be uh, jerking. We're gonna be jerking it today. So let's go ahead and get it. It is on my 15 pound fluorocarbon connected to my Daiwa Tatula bait casting reel. And that is connected to my seven foot GC4 KVD lose rod all purpose reaction. And yeah. That is a medium heavy. So what I'm doing here is that the grasses went below the surface. Okay. So I'm trying to dance this right along the top of that grass. Like it's a dying bait fish. Oh, there we go. Snap, came back. Oh, that's a good one. All right, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Keep them pinned. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. all right, let's go, baby. I just felt a good tug back. Oh, my God. This is like four pounds for sure. Holy moly. Holy mother. This is awesome. Got the right drag on. Hopefully I don't lose her. She's a big girl. I did not expect that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Calm down, Bessie. Oh, I got her. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh yeah. Oh snap. All right, come on, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, she's good, she's pinned. Okay. Woo. Oh, no, 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 we don't do that here. Yeah! Now, that's what I'm talking about. Redemption, baby. Woo! Look at that big girl. Look at that big girl. Ooh, I'm shaking right now. I did not expect that. Oh, yeah, guys. That is a tank. That is at least three and a half, four. That is awesome for this area. It is a chunker. Woo! That was awesome. All right, guys. We're going to let this big mama go. Oh, Lord. That was wild. That was wild. What you don't want to do is move the fish back and forth, like backwards, because their lungs... Well, their gills fill up with water. So what you want to do is... Ooh. Wait until she's ready to kick off. There you go, girl. Thank you. Woo! That was awesome. All right, let's see if we can get another one. 
Guys, I've been out here a total of seven minutes. I've been on the water seven minutes and I've already caught a three and a half pounder. That's a good sign, hopefully. It wasn't my first cast. So I won't, hopefully I don't get the curse, the first cast curse, but that weightless fluke just caught me a nice donkey. All right, let's see if we can get us another one. Casting into the same area. That was awesome. I'm still kind of shaking from that. I did not expect it. It felt like it was in the grass patch. So maybe the bigger girls are kind of hunkered down in it. I kind of just brought it back up and yeah, the rest is history. All right, so I've been out here about an hour and I've only had that one fish, which was still an awesome fish, but I'm gonna switch it up to the other method that I was gonna present to you guys. And that is just a weightless stick worm. It is Texas rigged, and like I said, no weight. This happens to be a bigger worm than your standard Cinco. This one's six inches rather than the standard five. So we're just gonna give it a chuck. Let it fall down into the grass a little bit. And dance it back. Got him. There we go. Ooh, nice one. He's okay. Not a three pounder. I'll tell you what I'm not doing. It's horsing him up the other way. So there we go on that one. Whoa, wait, calm down there, bud. Calm down. I'll get you off in a second. All right, here's the little dink, but that makes fish number two. Let's go ahead and let him go. I give it a 4.2 out of 10. All right, let's see if we can get another one. All right, guys, so I had an emergency come up yesterday, so this is the next day. Uh, we're gonna be throwing the fluke, just like we did yesterday, and see if we can't get another big, big old fish. Got him, there we go. Come on, little guy. He a widow one. Hey, but it's a good start. There he is. All right. Nothing like the three and a half pounder that I caught yesterday, but still a fish. Let's go ahead and let him go. There he goes. All right, well. Let's see if we can get us another one on the fluke. Well, I didn't have you guys with me, but I caught another little baby one. He smiled. Let's go ahead and let him go. See you later, bud. I'll see you next year. All right, so I've been out here almost three hours. I have only caught those two fish. I've tried the weightless Cinco, the weightless fluke, and I also tried both of them weighted. So sadly, I'm going to have to call it. Well, guys, that's going to go ahead and conclude this episode and I deem the mission successful. It just sucks that I had to do something yesterday. I had an emergency come up and I wasn't able to keep filming, but that's all right. Uh, the temperature actually dropped 10 more degrees this morning than yesterday morning. So it's kind of like a cold front. It might be a little bit affected with that, but nonetheless, we got it done. And if you like stuff like this, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Boom. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell and then let me know what you think about the video. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. All right. Well, uh, it's about lunchtime. I'm hungry and I will catch you guys out on the next one. Peace.